So it's Friday here at the Circuit de la Sarthe at Le Mans. Uh, it may be rest day for the drivers, no on-track action, but arguably this is the most important day of the weekend. Uh, we've been outlining the future of the WEC and what the series is going to look like uh, from 2020 and 2021 with the introduction of new regulations and a uh, hypercar class uh, replacing LMP1. Now, LMP1 has been dying a death in recent years following the exits of Audi and Porsche, uh, leaving Toyota as the only manufacturer racing in the uh, premier class with a hybrid car. Uh, Toyota has swept this season, won two at every single race pretty much, and uh, is expected to do another win this weekend here at Le Mans. Um, we're going into uh, a new phase though for the WEC. Uh, today announced a new hypercar led class for the 2020 to 21 season. Uh, basically all teams and manufacturers will be invited to develop new cars based on uh, either a road going car or a new prototype. And uh, this is really important for the series because uh, it's been struggling recently uh, with a lack of competition. Uh, we're now going to see the return to multiple manufacturers fighting in the top class at Le Mans and in the WEC, which is really, really exciting. Uh, we've had two big announcements today uh, following uh, confirmation from the ACO as to their plans. Uh, firstly, we'll see uh, Toyota continuing in the WEC uh, in the future which is really really great news uh, they've been a, a big part of the series uh, ever since joining in 2012 and uh, they've confirmed that they will be entering this new hypercar regulation uh, with a uh, prototype based on the road going super sport GR I believe it is called and uh, they are uh, continuing in the series which is uh, really great news but they will not be alone in that top class we will have Aston Martin also stepping up and uh, making a return to the top class of sports car racing uh, they've confirmed that they'll be racing with the Red Bull designed uh, Aston Martin Valkyrie uh, that uh, of course isn't on the roads yet but will be coming soon and uh, we will be seeing it here at Le Mans and in the WEC um, it's really important news but they're two very very different programs which I think is something that does need to be considered with Toyota they confirm they will be sticking with hybrid technology which has been so key to their success at Le Mans um, they uh, will be uh, continuing with the program uh, the Gazoo racing program that has uh, seen them win this race last year uh, win the WEC in 2014 as well and uh, another title will be confirmed for one of their uh, well three of their drivers sorry uh, tomorrow here at Le Mans and uh, it's it's a good thing to see Toyota continuing because they've been so important to this series uh, Aston Martin though it's all very new uh, Aston Martin they are involved in the GTE Pro class uh, with their Vantage uh, it, that's been a very important program for them but they will now be making a step back up to that premier class uh, to fight for overall honours um, we don't know the full details about the Aston program yet they're very very coy they said they're not going to announce any partners for a few weeks we don't know who's running the team and we don't know what level of involvement will be from Red Bull uh, Red Bull Technologies as mentioned did design the Valkyrie car so it's expected there will be some kind of involvement there could it open up an option for the F1 guys such as Max Verstappen or Pierre Gasly to come and take part in this famous race at Le Mans potentially that could be really really exciting uh, but the main thing is two manufacturers at least back at Le Mans and maybe more McLaren are also considering other options we know that much uh, Zach Brown very very into his sports cars uh, following the IndyCar project as well we know McLaren are looking at other forms of racing so we could see them come back here to Le Mans uh, the race they famously won in the 90s and uh, other manufacturers are known to be interested in keeping abreast of things uh, so very very exciting time here at Le Mans um, after a really difficult I think few years uh, LMP1 it's been a golden age it really has been uh, the days we had Audi Porsche Toyota all fighting each other Nissan at one point as well fighting in that top class uh, it was wonderful crazy speeds laps of 3 minute 14 around the circuit de la Sarthe uh, probably never going to be seen again unfortunately uh, the hypercars they're aiming for uh, 330 kind of range uh, which puts them sort of on a par with the current LMP2s uh, disappointing maybe we want to see the fastest cars but the main thing is the championship is in good health once again uh, proper competition at the front of the pack which is something we really really need and uh, yeah the future is looking much much brighter now than it did 12 months ago for the WEC and for the 24 hours of Le Mans.